morning everyone this is Ranger Rob and you're at the Ranger Rob Country Living Channel thank goodness and uh, by golly uh, we got a lot of things to do today so uh, of course my dogs want to kill the neighbors but uh, <laughs> anyway um, you notice dogs and things like that always bark when you're doing video it's a phenomenon so one thing I wanted to let you know is uh, on our freeze dryer I was having trouble with uh, vapor uh, losing um, pressure and it turns out I think it's just the door and here's a uh, here's our setup a little bit loud but that's the new airless uh, wire oilless pump but I think when you get the uh, get the uh, harvest right <coughs> you get this little uh, insulator and we've been putting it in the outside and I don't think we've been getting a good seal and so we've been finding that because we got an error uh, that wasn't holding pressure even with the new pump and we thought maybe it would be the hose but it looks like it's because we need to make sure that this insulator is in the inside of this rubber grommet so I think we solved the problem so uh, We've been running back-to-back -back eggs um, for the last uh, since the weekend, and that'll be done today. And uh, so that's about almost a hundred eggs that we'll put in the powder. And uh, today it's windy again, but it's a pretty day. Uh, we're going to go into the RV because I have a guest coming next week to use our RV, and. Uh, even though I do not have a problem with critters or anything, uh, every year I like to hit our uh, RV with uh, a spider killer and stuff like that just to make sure I don't have any problems. So to do that, it's um, I'm going to have to wear a mask. Uh, and it takes a few days for the smell to go away and then we'll, we'll freshen it up. But uh, that way it's just kind of make sure that we are keeping a good care of our RV. But... So I found this particular brand to work really, really good around here. So uh, we're going to go do that. I'm, uh, <coughs> i got to get a mask to do this. And the other thing is when we get food for the dogs, they eat wet food uh, at dinner time. And so I can see in the front gate that there's a, uh, let me come around here, that there's a big old box. And it's a chewy box, and so the dogs are always happy to see the chewy boxes. So anyway, we're going to go out to the fifth wheel, spray her down good. Uh, I'm not going to videotape that, it's not that much fun. And uh, then we're going to go into the greenhouse and show you what we're doing with the uh, aerators. Okay guys, we got that uh, spraying all done. Eyes are watering. No matter, even with a mask, I end up kind of coughing a lot. Um, but it's really... A, a good way to make sure that the fifth wheel's uh, protected from critters. So you do what you got to do. Anyway, sorry about the wind. Let's go to the greenhouse. We are in the greenhouse now, and uh, I've installed uh, almost all the aerators. This is what they look like. They're uh, air stones, and uh, I actually want four per tank right now. I'm three. I'm waiting for some more to come in uh, from shipment. Down here is a commercial, <laughs> can I move puppies? A commercial uh, air pump with uh, six valves. And uh, what I'm doing is I'm only using one, two uh, valves per tank. And then I'm putting a splitter on these, but I want four total. And still waiting for the other one. It'll be here soon. And, uh, That'll, I think I just made a big water trough for the dog. But, uh, anyway, aeration is important if you're doing the floating rafts. If you're doing the above, uh, uh, I don't know what the right <laughs> name is for that. Anyway, if the water, if you have it on the top, your, uh, your uh, board, and the water drops, you get air, an air pocket. And that's what gives the plants uh, oxygen. But if they're in a floating raft, the way they'll get their oxygen is through the aerators. 
And the reason I want to do floating is because you can do variations on different plants. Uh, we've seen uh, experiments where if you have the above board type and you have one plant that takes more water than the other plants, uh, you'll have some problems. And so we decided to go with floating rafts. And we can change it. If some reason we didn't have power or something, we could go back to uh, the, the other technique. So uh, yeah, the aerators are in. They're ready to go. Uh, I am going to add one more stone uh, to both tanks. But yeah, we're so ready to go here. We just need plants. And we need it to warm up a little bit. It was still, <coughs> let's see. We're starting to get out of the freezing temperatures. So yesterday, it uh, cold, got as cold as 39 degrees. It's 80 degrees in here right now. And uh, believe me, it gets hotter, but we have the, the vents open. Anyway, uh, once we see it consistent uh, staying out of the freezing temperatures, and yes, I do have a heater if I want to use it and see if I can keep this above freezing at night. And then once I get the word I got it, I can actually start running this. Uh, the last thing I got to do is I like to do it before I get the plants in is put in some eye bolts in here so I can get stringers set up and I was gonna use cable but I'm kinda like looked at the expense of cable I think I'm just gonna use bailing wire but I'm gonna use a tightener on each end and uh, save myself a little bit of money so anyway guys that's what's going on in the greenhouse and uh, I think today I may plant some more potatoes and uh, see what else comes up today one other project we have going here it's kind of a little bit at a time is we're cleaning out the pond um, and pulling out the leaves and stuff like that and uh, just doing a little bit at a time because we do have fish in here and we don't want to churn it up too much but we take a couple of scoops with a, a uh, net over here <clears throat> keep adding it to uh, the bucket here and then we take this to the compost bin but yeah, and also in the middle here, uh, every year our lily pads come back. So I'm already seeing the lily pads starting to head for the surface. So it won't be long I'll have lily pads in here so it's easier to clean before we get all these lily pads going here. And then the frogs come. <laughs> but the fish love the shade. So yeah, <clears throat> there's always something to do with a pond. This thing still leaks really bad. Uh, but... Uh, that's a big project because we got to drain it, clean it, and put a new liner in it. And that's going to be quite a project. <clears throat> I don't know if we'll get that done this year or not. But anyway, <clears throat> sorry I'm still getting over spraying the RV. So uh, yeah, that's what's going on with the pond. Alrighty guys, time to go get that big old box in the front here. So I've got a little cart that I keep out here. Chewy boxes with a whole bunch of wet food in them are heavy. And uh, I gotta kind of be careful how much weight I pick up. So we're gonna go grab those right now. It appears that somebody's anxious for me to get that box. Is that for you? Is that for you? Or is it for you? All right, there is the chewy box. Trust me, it weighs a lot. There we go. I always keep uh, quite a few cases of spare wet food for the dogs, um, just in case. We can't get it <laughs> anyway and uh this is all wet food they eat dry food in the morning a little cup and a little cup at night so we also keep uh quite a bit of dry food um in our preps just to make sure that hey if you're prepping for your family you should be prepping for your animals including our cat and our fish so uh yeah that was a good workout well guys, we got a new concern starting to come up. Is uh, if you look as far down here, this is all grass. And you can see it's kind of brown. And I'm on grass here. And if you go down here, it's way down there. That's all grass. And there's grass in the center and also by the pond. So, what's the dilemma? One is, uh, I'm also start. I'm actually seeing dandelions already. But it's getting time to... Uh, either turn on whoops sorry about the wind i'll block it here a little bit uh we have to turn on the sprinkler system pretty soon uh but when we do that i pointed out several times that the water systems around the house 
I need to fix up and uh, either shut them off or modify them so they'll work with the system. And two is I want to run weed and feed on all this grass. In order to do that, sorry about the wind, um, I'm going to use weed and feed, uh, 50 pound bags I'm guessing. I'm going to use about 200 pounds. Well, that stuff's like $50 a, a bag. So uh, I'm not seeing any big sales on weed and feed right now, but uh, sometime in the next week or two I've got to buy at least 200 pounds of that stuff. And uh, I wish I had an automatic spreader, but uh, we're going to have to uh, do a push cart through all of these to uh, get it, the weed and feed in there. Once I do that, within a week or so I'll turn on the water system. And uh, that's where we get our lush green grass. And uh, right now you can see all the spots where the dogs have hit it. Um, but yeah, it will look beautiful this summer. So uh, uh, kind of keep your heads up on how we're going to address that. And the other problem we get is in our gravel. We get a lot of grass and gr uh, cheat grass. And it's the one time that I use chemicals um, where I've got to pull out my Ghostbuster outfit and hit this with weed killer. Otherwise, uh, it'll just take over. And it's a good time to also start doing that. And that's probably within a week or so uh, before the cheat grass starts getting out of control. So yeah, um, I thought I'd share that with you because that's something coming up in the uh, later in a few weeks. But yeah, you can see we've got lots of grass here. Everything's kind of brown. But they're showing signs that the grass is starting to be stimulated by by spring. But we really haven't got a lot of rain. So I may be turning on the water system a little earlier this year. Just to start getting water to this grass. So anyway, this is a concern coming up. I thought I'd share that with you. Hi guys, I uh, thought I'd do a quick update on my tomatoes. So these are my jet stars. So I thought I'd take a couple of jet stars. Go ahead and pull them because I'm starting to see roots. And I put them in bigger jars with uh, vermiculite and with a nutrient solution of really weak. And uh, I don't know if it's too soon, but I need the space uh, to see how they do. So kind of an experiment. Uh, the jet stars have been moved to bigger pots and with a very light nutrient uh, base and the vermiculite holds uh, moisture really well so we'll see how that goes also I got um, four more potato bags done four of uh, three of them are the Yukon Golds and one's Russet and we're gonna put these out in the greenhouse and get some water and nutrients on them all right so uh, I've got the uh, potato bags in here I got to mix up some uh, nutrients for them, water them down, and uh, we're going to leave them in the greenhouse for uh, for a while at least until it warms up. And uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, I've never grown potatoes before. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Just to show you what my starter uh, potatoes look like, uh, these are some more russet potatoes. Uh, I didn't have enough bags. <laughs> got to order more. I'm not going to Home Depot. But yeah, so, uh, yeah, we, we've got things going on here. Still a little early in the season, but we're going to see what happens. Hi right, guys, just a follow up on the uh, potatoes I just planted. I'm putting five gallons together of the Master Blend. And so uh, I'm going to mix all this up by just doing five gallons worth and then take it over to the greenhouse and I'll use this for the uh, different potato plants. Well guys, I think I'm going to wrap up this video for today. We've got happy chickens, we got their eggs, we got the potatoes planted, I uh, got the towers running, uh, did the RV, lots of things. So uh, I have strawberries coming in two days and uh, another air compressor coming in for our aerator 
for the floating wrapped in the house because the one I had was a commercial and it was way too big for that little tank and some of my other stones will be in so we can finish off the big tanks and get that all going and uh, hosed up so anyway guys I want to thank you very much for watching uh, please uh, uh, take the time to subscribe share and uh, like our videos we'd appreciate it I want to say thank you to all the new subscribers and uh, really share these videos around it really would help us we'd really appreciate that a lot so guys I, I hope you had a great day please be safe and until next time bye now our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob poopy bags available at Amazon right now thank you very much for watching our video Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.